what is going on guys, it's your boy Sissy here, bringing you to the tutorial today, or actually this is a cool little updated overlay tutorial, so I think this style right here, for the example for the video right here, I think this style right here looks like, like 40 million times better than like my other style from like uh, 6 months ago where I did like the crazy rectangles in the middle of it, and like did like this, this winged looking like overlay in the top, I think it looked cool, but I think this looks a lot, a lot better, more professional, more clean, more formal. I think this works for any, like anyone's videos ever. So if you're doing like vlogs or whatever you're using your uh, or gameplays, whatever you're using like the overlay for to just put additional information on, which is like what an overlay is for. I think this style is perfect for that as well. With those little boxes is like a little face cam box for people who do use overlays for gameplays, which is like most of anyone really. Um, I will show you guys how to do this as well, but with that being said, I want to show you the document size really quickly just so you guys know the settings for it. It is 1280 by 720 pixels, resolution is at 200, and my color mode is at RGB, so just pause the video really quickly to copy this down. Um, this is what my settings is for almost all my, my projects ever. So if I'm using, of course my pixels will always change, my inches, I might be inches next time, might be, you know, points or maybe, this will never change though, my, my, my resolution and it's always on RGB, so if you're having some kind of trouble with your coloring or whatever, make sure this is the same for you, but the overlay, like the basic, I guess, the quote unquote default overlay like size would be like a 1280 by 720p. Or it can be in like 1980 by 1080p, but I don't think it really matters because like using an overlay, you're gonna put it in your editing program, and I think it'll just, you can just resize it like so. But I think you should, if you make it a little more bigger, it'd be better. But this is perfectly fine right now. Cancel this out. Boom. All right, cool. So don't forget, guys. 200 likes on the video goes down below. So if you guys have to download any of my secret downloads from any of my other videos, you're missing out of like PSDs or small packs or teaser packs. You're missing out on those kind of things. So it's very cool to get a nice little giveaway for you guys for giving to me my thank you to you guys. And we also hit 37k this past week. So thank you guys so much. Just freaking, oh my God, I can't wait. And a lot of you guys I think are on like summer vacation now because like a lot of you guys on Twitter were telling me you guys you guys finally got on summer vacation. So congrats to you though, uh, you guys and whoever's in school still. You know, keep it up. I know your finals are hard, but you got you got this, guys. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna make another new layer. Uh, we're not gonna make another new layer. We're gonna make a new layer really quickly. And we're going to go ahead, and I already showed you the document size, we're going to use the rectangle marquee tool. So this is right here, this tool right here, which is M on your keyboard for the shortcut, we're going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and click and drag this across the screen really quickly. And you can see, the, to my right hand side, you can see that W and the H, and you see uh, the 6.4 centimeters to like the, the height that's changing right now. You can see, I would say keep your overlay to not, not of a dramatic size. So if I see your overlay is anywhere past like... 30. I think your your little your overlay size is a little bit too big. It doesn't need to be doesn't mean crazy big. It's just a nice formal size to it, so it's not out of the way or it's not in the way of the video below it or playing behind it, right? So I'll say I'll say I'll say 24 would work. So my height's at 24 right here. So I'm gonna select my color now. And you guys know about me and selecting colors. I think like using a color like down here is perfectly like crazy good uh, because like when you put a highlight color onto it, like a highlight brush hit. Uh, the color just stands out a lot more better. So if you're using like, any color besides like orange or red, which I'm going to be using an orange for today's video, if you're using like anything like a like a blue or a freaking pink or whatever it may be, I think it's just cool to pick something down here. So when you put a nice white brush on the overlay, the color just pops out dramatically. But I'm going to use orange for today's video because I literally always use blue or green, and those like my favorite two colors to work with. And my third favorite color to work with is orange. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and select that orange. And the reason why I didn't select the orange from down here is because I think this is brown. This is not orange no more. So I'm going to select an orange that's like still dark, but you can still see it's orange. So alt backspace to quick fill my foreground color. And with that being said, I'm making another new layer really quickly. And I'm going to clip mask everything on my overlay. So this is my base right here. I'm going to change that number one to base. This is our base, right? This, anything that we put on this base needs to be clip masked. Besides like things that can just, you know, like not freely move but like any textures needs to be clip masked because otherwise it's going to bleed through the video and you'll be able to see like what is that like why is that texture on my videos because you forgot to clip mask it or free or, or delete it right from like the other screen below it so make sure you clip mask everything on your base right click clip mask boom there we go and what the clip mask does by the way if, if you don't know uh this layer whatever put whatever is put on this layer is only going to be like like uh targeted onto this layer only so boom we're going to call this light really quickly and we're gonna use a brush, right? I, I'm gonna use my brush pack for this because I just I have a brush light that I wanna use. And of course, if you guys don't have my brush pack, it's only for $5 for 150 stocks right now, or all these right here. This is my brush pack version 10. Uh, all these stocks right here are like uh, very, very nice stocks right here. But if you wanna purchase it, I'll put it down, I'll put it down below in the description below for you guys to purchase it. Um, otherwise, you don't have to use this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for now because this is my like go-to, and I, I wanna still make sure I use my go-to. But I'll show you guys an alternative in just one second. 
Uh, make sure, by the way, this is on. I put it on orange. Make sure your foreground color is on white. I'm gonna select it. I'll just put it on overlay, just like so. And you'll see. I think that looks very good. You can see how that looks very, freaking beautiful. My light is very nice and cool. Nice. It's like my light's a texture almost. That's why I use this brush. But an alternative, if you guys don't have my brush pack, uh, my brush pack, you can make this brush stock very simply. So with a rectangle marking tool again, on this new layer, right click, fill this in with white. Right. We'll right click, deselect it really quickly so you can see this. Oh. You can see this is a nice little white rectangle here. I'm going to just tilt it on an angle. I'm going to do with this uh, with this rectangle, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And a simple Gaussian blur will work out. Boom, right? And I'm going to make a duplicate just by holding Alt and Shift and moving it to the right or the left to make a duplicate of it. I'll load the opacity down just a little bit on them. And I'm just going to go out, uh, go through it the entire way. So I can put the opacity back up on some of them. Right? And I'll just go through that the entire way. And when I put it on overlay, you should be able to see that it gives you the same exact like look to what I have here. That's just how, that's basically how I had that stock, how I made that stock. But I don't want to make that. I don't want to do this entire video. I want to use some of my brushes that I have ready to go. So it's very simple. But you always remember there's an alternative to anything. So there we go. We have our light. Now we're going to start with some of the textures. I'm going to just uh, group this together with Control and then Control G. And I'm going to call this base as well. And I'm going to make another new layer. And we're starting off with the textures now. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take this right on marquee tool. And this is like all, you can use a texture from like whatever you have, some textures you want to use. But I'm going to make something that's very easy to make for anyone that can do without going to like Google or go a pack or whatever. So I'm going to do, go ahead and put it on black, right? Alt backspace to quick fill. Put this on overlay. See, I don't have this clipping mask because this is not like, it can't bleed. It's only on this little base right here. So, put this, uh, lower my opacity down, maybe like 40 or so. I'm going to take an eraser. Right, so I'm gonna press E on my keyboard, and I'm gonna go ahead and take any like any. This will work for anything. I think the default brushes as well can work perfectly fine. But if you have a distinct like pattern of a, a nice little pattern uh, brush, use it. Right, you can get some free ones by the way. Just Google like free brush pack and get some free brushes as well. Any brush you use, anyway. But if you take it and use it as an eraser, what you can do with this simple like black like uh, rectangle I have in the middle, right? We just take this eraser and click one time, drag it over. You can get this very cool texture. There it is. A simple texture just like so like in five seconds by using an eraser not no texture from Google or whatever I'll just go ahead and do it again why not like just uh, another another one right all backspace and you can do this many times as you want I think it's just very cool that you can do this what I'll do is take another eraser I'll choose a different one maybe this time I'll use a I'll use this I'm using by the way to shrink my brush I'm using control alt right clicking and then moving left and right to make my diameter my diameter bigger and like uh, smaller, and if you, if you move up and down, you make your hardness bigger and or hardness less or more, right? All right, boom. I'll use an eraser, erase that like so. I'll do it again. There we go. Now you have a cool texture on our overlay. I think it looks pretty cool, right? I'll lower this just a little bit. I don't like this too much. Boom. So there we go. We went from this to putting some textures on, and now it looks like that. And now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some strokes on this, so it looks pretty cool, right? I think strokes are pretty damn cool. I'll go ahead and zoom in really quickly. And with my rectangle marquee tool, I'm going to make a really skinny rectangle in between this rectangle right here. So between this, I'm going to make another skinny one. So I'm going to go ahead and make it skinnier. Uh, i got to zoom out just a little bit. Make it skinnier. And we'll go ahead and move all the way to the right. And when I get to the end, I'll make it skinnier. But the reason why it's taking forever to get to the other side right now is because I zoomed in too much. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. There we go. All right. Skinnier rectangle in the middle of there Just like so you can see I have a skinnier rectangle in between this rectangle and I, I should have made it one more uh, Size smaller so transform selection make it one more pixel smaller Oops not bigger smaller boom and I'll just use my arrow keys to put it down I'll see that'll work actually it has to be two actually so right click free transform Boom has to be two all right boom now put this on white Change my foreground uh, color to white, all backspace again, and now we have a rectangle in between that rectangle. And what we can do here is with the stroke, use an eraser, a nice soft brush eraser, and then just erase from left to right or whatever. So you have a cool little stroke fade in. And I'll use Alt Shift to make a duplicate, Control T to free transform, and then right click, flip horizontal to put on the other side, just like so. And I'll use Shift to move it over and make sure this is still in the middle so you can see it's not in the middle. Move it down one. There we go. Now it's in the middle. Boom. You have a cool little stroke on both sides. A nice little overlay texture. Or a nice little textured overlay. And I'm just going to use a text really quickly. So, for the text, I'll use my name. Why not? Possessive HQ. 
Nexa Bold is one of my go-to uh, fonts for this kind of stuff. Uh, we'll say three, maybe three size, right? Now for this, you can see like the white text looks very blah. It looks very boring. So I'm going to do, <laughs> wait, I said that blah, what the hell? Anyway, it looks very boring. I would say like in between, like maybe like for me, I have Cisco HQ. I have HQ as like a little acronym. I, is that the word I'm like looking for, right? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just highlight that with just white, using T, the, using your text tool, highlight it. Using a color over here, color picker, pressing, uh, I'll use yellow, why not? You can use yellow or just use a color from the overlay itself. I think it looks pretty cool if you do that. Or maybe just a darker one, or a darker orange, or a nice complementary color. So what what looks good, like yellow and, or orange and like something, maybe like orange and purple, not bad. I'll just use yellow for now, so just just keep it like nice and, oh, that looks good, right there. Press OK. So yeah, now we have a cool little, our text is not boring looking anymore. So for my subtext, I'm of course going to put graphic designer or whatever you are, vlogger, or whatever it may be. I'll put graphic designer. I think it looks pretty cool, right? Put this on 1.5 maybe. I'm going to make sure I'll zoom in over here and make sure this is placed over here. I'll just change designer. Actually, I'll change graphic design or graphic from designer. Make that white, uh, yellow so I have designer white and graphic uh, yellow. Looks pretty cool right there. I'm going to just... Make sure I move this in the middle. So there, we have a cool little complementary colors. Uh, the, it looks very nice with the text, just period. It looks very good. So before this, actually, I'm going to change this overlay stroke color from white. I'll put it on overlay, actually. I think it looks better. Oh, yes, so much better. All right, it was just bothering me. All right, cool. So right now, I would say, like, you put anything you want on your overlay. So I have my name. I have what I am, what I do. I would put, like, social media. So I'll put that really quickly. Social media icons right here. Uh, da, 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 what Twitter? What's your like main things? Twitter, Facebook, right? Twitter, Facebook, and what? Da, 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 like Instagram, maybe? Yeah, right. Cool. We'll just drag these out. Can hide that again. All right, cool. So I'll just take these. I'm gonna make sure I. I'll do it like so. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift click on these, Control T to free, uh, free transform, and then shrink them by holding uh, Shift from one corner and just shrinking it just like so, so it's it saves its uh dimensions and such and I'm gonna go ahead drag it in there change my text or make a text and put it stay connected it's like my go-to thing to say when I'm trying to put some social media things in it and I'll change my connected to yellow this yellow over here I can make a little more bigger I think I'll make this by two right not right and I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna backspace this I'm just gonna change connected and make it next to light not next to bold give it a nice little character to it right Boom, I think it looks pretty cool. Now that being said, I'm gonna drag, drag this over again and I'll just put like, don't f uh, forget to subscribe, right? Something like that. And I'll just change the uh, subscribe. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say I'll change like don't and like subscribe to like yellow, but that'll like give like a little, uh, like a thing that says like don't subscribe, but we're gonna just change subscribe to yellow. Boom. Actually, it might have to be a different color, but I'll just keep it for yellow for now. You can just keep like three colors, like going through, like rotating through three colors. So yellow, orange, and like white is that I'm going through this entire overlay. So if you want to change it to orange, you have to probably change like graphic to orange or like whatnot. I'll do it. Let's see what it looks like. Why not? Just really quickly, something like that, right? Change it to that, and I don't have to like keep it like flowing. So I'm gonna just make sure I change this to something like this. So it doesn't look too bad, but you know, whatever it may be, because I think the yellow is just hard on the eyes over here. So just keep away from doing something like that. But I think this is perfectly fine, right? So now that I'm done with everything, my text is all cool and all that crazy stuff. What I can do now is I can just uh, I can take this. What can I do here? I can either copy the entire thing over or duplicate the entire thing over and merge it together so that you can't change this text. But let's just say we can duplicate the base. We can just duplicate the base, right? And we'll go ahead and control E this. So now the base is what's right right now. We just controlled e -ed. Um. Uh, do, 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 why is we have to oh we have to do the entire base, so this right here as well needs to be in there. Boom! Now we have the entire thing there. All right, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa! Before we do that, let's go all the way back really quickly. Take the entire base, right? So the, even the stroke and stuff. Control J to duplicate. Control E to merge together. And now we have here is a nice layer here. We'll undo that. Boom. Now the base, the entire base is now clipping mask, or now only one layer. I'll take my pen tool. Simply enough, we'll just go around this. Nice little cut right here. I mean, a nice little slant, right? And all I gotta do is go all the way around the overlay, connect it, right click, make selection, press OK, delete on your keyboard. Now what we have here is a simple cut now, right? 
now we can do here is we can take another pen tool or take a pen tool again make another new layer clip mask this below this this is our new base layer so with this right here we'll take an overall uh, nice little pen tool give it a nice little look to it right go around it now this is just an accent thing it's just some added detail I'll make it even with the don't why not oh, or I won't but I will there we go right click fill path drop down use black looks pretty cool Uh oh there we go all right normal change it to overlay boom looking pretty cool now right all right it looks pretty cool now I can put anything I really want on this right now actually what I'll do is on this entire thing I'll group this entire thing up really quickly we'll call this overlay and what I'll do is make another new layer clip mask it I'll take a nice soft brush so I'm gonna uh, make sure I press if you can't see your brush by the way it's because you have cap locks on uh, soft brush uh, control alt right click to change my diameter I'll take a nice white brush and like do some highlight hits just like so lower my opacity down and now for some added detail I like to do this like under the the overlay entire like group I'm gonna take a marquee tool again I'll fix like this over here in a second so it's still slanted but for this I'm gonna just change this to a yellow really quickly right I'm gonna quick fill this in so I have an, I'm gonna make a stroke right now so with this quick fill with this yellow I'm also gonna uh, highlight this again really quickly just like this half make another new layer click mask it right click fill path drop down use color and I use an orange from the overlay press ok and now we have here's a nice little uh, like a little stroke here I'll merge these two together I'll take my pen tool cut this again right click make selection just like so and delete my keyboard that's just off by a little bit but I'll, I'll leave it for that I would fix it if I was doing it for a client but right now just for tutorial purposes I'll let it go now we have a simple it's bothering me so I'm gonna move it over a simple uh, little little stroke on the bottom now so now zoom out you can see looks pretty nice right now what I'll do is I'll just group it all together now I'll call this final overlay um boom and this is our this is our backup base right here so I'll keep that hidden but really quickly I'll show you guys how to do the camera box all you gotta do is use your, uh, your marquee tool and you know if you're using gameplay for a gameplay like little uh, face cam you know how big you want your camera to be so this is where you're just gonna freehand how big you want your camera like your your camera's record gonna be so I'll say like something like this would be like a, a go-to size maybe and what I'll do is I'll just make this I'll make this black right so I'm gonna quick fill that in black and I'm gonna go ahead and just press select modify contract contract it by nine pixels press OK and then on this layer of course just press delete on your keyboard and what that'll do is make a nice simple stroke outline of a rectangle for you and now what you can do is double click on this and it just match the colors up I'll just make it yellow here make sure I rasterize it really quickly another new layer right click click mask it really quickly so with the brush a nice soft brush with this orange maybe I'll go ahead and do something like that there we go right and now I'll merge together as well and I make a simple name tag on this layer I'm gonna keep on this layer why not with a pen tool I'll click somewhere around here click like down so a nice little a little diagonal line hold shift to make a straight line uh, and I'll go ahead there we go and I'll make sure I, I hold control if you if you if you already close your path hold control select uh, somewhere else and then highlight where you want your points you want to select I'll move it over my arrow keys and now I can go ahead and go fill path color boom there we go and now what I can do is I can just double click on this if I say I want to I want to put a drop shadow on it I'll just make it like one drop shadow uh, distance and one drop shadow size right click uh, copy layer style I'll put it on the final overlay as well and there we go we have a very simple clean professional looking like all round overlay for anyone who wants to use it I think it looks a little, like really freaking good and if you have any questions of course please comment it down below or tweet at me and like take a set a print screen of, like where you went wrong I'll try and fix it for you guys or help you guys out so don't forget follow me on Twitter at SysOHQ don't forget to check out my cell phone cellphone.com SysOHQ and of course um just be subscribed all the cool stuff I really enjoy I just I really enjoy YouTube I've just been really really enjoying YouTube and like my life like all around this has been very freaking fun Oh, I owe it all to you guys, and please, just thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Enjoy your rest of your day. Since we're out, peace.